to me, there is a unique puzzle about nuclear weapons. These are weapons that militarily are, and the important word is almost, unthinkable in terms of use. And yet, in a world that allow them to exist morally and politically, and we're living in that kind of world that morally and politically allow them to exist, we haven't been wise enough to remove them from the face of the world, they still make a difference. The threat of nuclear Armageddon is still with us, and it's more complex today. Uh, the United States and Russia are still uh, nuclear rivals. Uh, India and Pakistan uh, are growing their arsenals and continue uh, to be in conflict along their common border. Uh, the North Korean situation is worsening. It's not getting better. So we've got problems all around. dust and debris below us with this tremendous mushroom on top. Beneath that was hidden the ruins of the city of Hiroshima. When the clouds opened up over the target at Nagasaki, I let the bomb go. If the announcement made by President Truman that the Soviet Union now has the atomic bomb is true, then the impasse that now exists regarding the international control of atomic energy must be broken for the sake of mankind and for the peace of the world. Just released films show the recent A-bomb tests in which Britain joined America and Russia as the third world power to possess atomic weapons. This first blast is on a level with bombs exploded over Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II. Now, France presses forward to force her way into the exclusive nuclear club. This government has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide a nuclear strike capability against the Western Hemisphere. At 1,500 hours on October 16, 1964, the event which shocked the whole world finally takes place. The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons is now ready to be signed. After the Non-Proliferation Treaty went into effect, India did a test in 1974. They never signed it, so they felt it was their right to do so. Называем все мировое сообщество ликвидировать ядерное оружие к концу нынешнего века. For the first time in history, the language of arms control was replaced by arms reduction. In this case, the complete elimination of an entire class of U.S. and Soviet nuclear missiles. Israel almost certainly is a nuclear power. Pakistan demonstrates a capacity to detonate a weapon. In 1998, we've obviously seen the North Korea case. The danger of a nuclear catastrophe today is very high. And I think it's of paramount importance for people to understand the danger. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists for years has provided the world with uh, an excellent measure of how close we are to nuclear catastrophe. Make no mistake, this has been a difficult year. Most troubling has been two concerns that are adding to an already challenging global landscape. The first. The first has been the cavalier and reckless language used across the globe, especially in the United States during the presidential election and after around nuclear weapons and nuclear threats. The board takes the unprecedented step, the first time in its history, of moving the clock hand 30 seconds closer to midnight. Today, we move the clock a half minute closer to midnight. It is now two and a half minutes to midnight.